So my name is Paige and I'm on a mission to get out of debt and become a millionaire. So one of the things that I am working on is our budget and then also getting our groceries down to very little. So the less we spend on groceries, the more we can put towards our debt. So the goal is to make dinner for under a dollar. One dollar for each serving. And if we can do that, we can really stretch the grocery budget. Right now we are spending, well, right now we're setting aside $400 a month on our groceries. I think we can do better than that. And if we can have some variety and some tasty foods, it'll make it that much better. The first meal we are going to attempt to accomplish is chili. Daniel has an amazing chili recipe and we're going to delve in and see if it is under a dollar. What we need to do first is price out a recipe. You're going to write down your recipe, all of your ingredients in the recipe, and then you're going to cost out each item in the recipe. So if your recipe calls for a tablespoon of butter, you are going to go to the store, purchase, it comes in a pound, so you purchase a pound of butter, and then you divide that cost of the pound of butter into what that one tablespoon would cost for your recipe. And that is how you price out a recipe. We're gonna do this for each item in our recipe. Once we get that, then we will add it up for the entire recipe to entire bowl of chili, not bowl, pot, a big pot of chili. And then you're going to divide that by how many servings you're anticipating on getting out of your pot of chili. At that point, then we'll be able to tell if our recipe is at a dollar for dinner. I use the Walmart pickup app to shop for my groceries. I have every recipe item listed here to get an accurate cost of each item. This recipe can cost more or less depending on the items purchased. Many items you get a better price per unit if you buy in bulk, but then again, purchase only what you can afford. The total for these groceries is $48.70. If we were to divide this into six servings, it would be far more than a dollar. We are only pricing the amount needed in the recipe because we use the remaining amount in future recipes. The first thing you need to do when pricing your recipe is list every ingredient in the recipe. This is the list of ingredients and the amount I need of each. I also have a house chili powder recipe that I need to price since it was not an item that was purchased at the store. Next to the ingredients, I have columns for the item cost, the total measured, out, measured amount needed for the recipe, and the calculation for each serving. Ground beef is the first item on the list, and I purchased it as a 10 pound chub at Walmart for $19.83. Since my recipe only calls for one pound, I will divide the 19.83 by 10 to get the price per pound. This recipe makes six servings, so I will then divide the cost per recipe by six to get the cost per serving. You do this with each item in your recipe. You'll be able to see how much each item costs you. This recipe is costing us 75 cents a serving and the whole pot of chili is $4.50. All right, so the first step to making chili is soaking beans. Who would have thought? Daniel told me I needed to soak beans. So here they are. I have about half a pound of beans and we're gonna put water and soak them for about 24 hours. And then we're gonna get on it to make chili tomorrow. Now we're going to make some chili, some homemade chili in a big old pot. 
well, it might not be that big, but it's gonna be a big pot of chili and it'll be enough for me and my hubby Daniel. Now I have selected all of our mise en place. That's all of our ingredients that are going into the chili recipe. We have chili beans, Worcestershire sauce, our olive oil, our adobe chili chipotles. So lots of tasty stuff on, on each of them. I also have how much that ingredient item cost per serving. So when we are finished, all of this is going to be 75 cents per serving. Talk about a deal. All right, guys, so here's a moment of truth. I am not the chef in my household. <laughs> in fact, my hubs is a professionally trained chef in French and Italian cuisine. So I have lost and gained 50 pounds several times, and um, I thoroughly enjoy his cooking. So I don't do a lot of it myself. So this is kind of me venturing out and trying something new. Hopefully we don't all get sick. But my lovely husband made a fabulous recipe. He even wrote it down for me on this little spiral pad. And we are going to give that a try. So one step at a time, the first thing we are going to do, the top of the list, is get our big chili pot here. And we are going to turn on the heat. Let's get this going. All right. So high heat is only for boiling water and burning things is what my hubs just chimed in. I have half a tablespoon of butter. We're just gonna plop that in there. And then we also have half a tablespoon of olive oil. And we are going to put that, oh, I'm moving too much, aren't I? I'll, I'll be more careful. Just gonna put that right in there. And I'm gonna set you down in a stationary spot so you don't get sick. Don't, don't get sick. It's not, not a good thing, not a good thing. So we're gonna heat this up in the pan and we're going to get our other ingredients. Next on the list is going to be our beef. Now, a good Texas chili doesn't have any beans. We're putting beans in this to add a little bit of fluff to make it stretch just a little further. No beans in Texas chili. And there is actually a historical reason for that, and I'll look it up later for you. Now, the beef. One pound of ground beef. So while the meat is heating up to brown, I'm going to rinse our chili beans. So I soaked these chili beans for over 24 hours so they are nice and ready to be put into the pot. This would be a lot easier with a strainer. While the meat is browning, I'm gonna add one teaspoon, one teaspoon of the chili powder. I think the idea is to add a little bit of it at a time to allow the seasonings and flavor to open up. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Three ounces of tomato paste. Uh oh. Am I burning it? Get some more liquid in there. A little thing of tomatoes. Ah! Ow! It bit me. It spattered and spud at me. A little less noise there, a little less noise. Oof. Okay. Yeah, it's a little exciting. 
right, so now we're gonna put in our green chilies. Turn down the heat just a smidgen because that kind of yelled at me. And then we'll put in our chipotle peppers. Now we're gonna add in some more chili powder. This time two teaspoons. But look, we still have so much chili powder to put in. All in good time, all in good time. Now for some beans. The fluff to make that dollar stretch just a little further. Well, I am making this chili in Texas. This is not Texas chili. So now we put in all the water, or most of the water, and we are going to wait for it to begin to simmer, and that may take a while. Like they say, a wash pot never boils. About 200 years ago, the Chili Queens of San Antonio, Texas, served food to the men at the military plaza. It wasn't long until they became known for their chili, which consisted mostly of meat and dried chilies. While there are many variations of the chili recipe, Texas chili lacks certain ingredients that some would say is an abomination to chili. Nowhere in Texas chili history are beans or tomatoes included in the Texas chili recipe. I knew about the absence of beans, but I didn't know about the tomatoes. Although it kind of makes me want to go back to the drawing board and make some true Texas chili next time. That does look like chili now. Yeah, All right, so it looks like we finally have some chili. And it is about done, and it will be a tasty, tasty dinner. <laughs> All right, so the bowl of chili is done. It's delicious, and let me show you how amazing it is. It is a cup and a third for a total of 75 cents. Absolutely delicious. A big bowl of tasty chili. Hello, thank you for watching this video. I'm on a mission to get out of debt and become a millionaire. I'm gonna keep making these videos to keep me focused and you inspired. So go ahead and like and subscribe, you know the drill. And I will see you next time.